Hey, good morning everyone. Tractor Man 44 here. I've got a couple of small, literally small cedar posts, uh, various diameters, you know, but all small. And we're going to saw them into uh, 4x4s, maybe even get a 6x6 out of a bigger one uh, for my son's rifle range so that he can support some AR-400, AR-500 targets that he's got. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to be sawing uh, just normally posts that we would saw into small sections used for kindling. But we're going to be making some 4x4s or whatever that he can use to support those uh, those rifles. up there pretty close you'll see me uh, stick my hand up there and I'll give a finger down or a thumb down that's to lower the load but then here in just a little while you see me start flipping my finger and thumb back and forth and you'll see him start to uh, dump the bucket to create a ramp on those sparks to roll right down off of it uh, and onto the bumps of the sawmill those are pretty much standard hand signals for uh, for loader operation and of course pointing straight back like that means to truck straight backwards don't raise don't lower nothing, just truck back to the parts are clear.
Twelve foot dead on. Twelve foot dead on. Some of these timbers were deteriorated bad enough to where uh, we had to shave just a little bit off to get the, the better wood. So what we're doing is we're dropping about three quarters of an inch off whenever we're making those adjustments to get to the good wood. And then I'm using those or I'm setting them off to the side and those will be ripped eventually into, uh, into stacking strips all three quarters of an inch in thickness. Just trying to make sure we don't waste anything, use as much of it as possible because like I'll tell you eventually the slab wood is going to be cut with the buzz saw and thrown right into the woodshed and we'll be using that for kindling for the fires and, and everything in winter shops and then In a few minutes, I'm going to lean up against the new timbers we're going to be cutting, the 4x4s and 6x6s, and you're going to see some real pretty stripes uh, going crossways with the grain of a couple of them. That's because I started off using the blade that I ruined, or one of the blades I ruined on that oak a couple days ago, and uh, a few of the teeth are bent at about a 90 degree angle. I went ahead and just got a little more use out of it, just for the heck of it. So that's what those rhythmic stripes are all about. That didn't take me long to go ahead and decide to put a, another new blade on, so we finished up with the new blade, and of course you, know, you can see the cut turn back to being smooth and everything. Now this old cedar's been laying down in the woods. He cut it about five or six years ago whenever he started laying out the rifle range, so it's been laying there, so all the sap wood, you know, obviously you can see was pretty rotten. So we had to work real hard at getting some of the, uh, any good lull out of the heartwood. But he ended up with a few uh, four by fours and a few six by sixes. And we still have a few more of them to, uh, to cut up. He brought over a trailer load of them, you know. They were just laying there rotting and down. They were gonna be absolutely worthless, you know. And so this is gonna give him posts for his, uh, for his different targets at the different, at the different yardage. And so uh, he's kind of happy with it, you know. And we made something out of nothing because we were just gonna saw those up in a small block, use them for kindling and everything. So that's what I'll be using the slab wood for. Just uh, saw it with the buzz saw and uh, set it off to the side or throw it in the woodshed and then split that for kindling as, as, as needed. So it's been a fun few minutes with, uh, with my son, whacking big pieces into little pieces. So thanks for stopping by and this is Trackman 44 and I'm out of here guys. <laughs>